in today's lecture we will be finding the step response of an RC circuit. We have a step input that is applied at t equals to 0 across this RC circuit and we are assuming that the capacitor is at initial rest. That is it doesn't hold any charge Vc of 0 minus is equal to 0. So at t equal to 0 a current I starts to flow through the circuit and I can write a KVL equation in this circuit which would be V is equal to R times I plus so the drop across the resistor is R times I and let's say the drop across the capacitor is equal to Vc. Now we know that a current through the capacitor Ic is given as C times dVc by dt and in this circuit I is equal to Ic. So the current that flows through the capacitor is the same as the current flowing through the resistor. So I can replace I with IC in this equation and I can write V is equal to R times C D V C by DT plus V C. So this equation can be rearranged as V minus V C divided by R C is equal to D V C by DT which can be written as DT over RC equals to dVc divided by V minus Vc. Now if we take integral on both sides then we know that the integral of dx over x is equal to natural log of x. So if I add a minus here then minus dVc over V minus Vc is of the form dx over x. Integral of dt would be t divided by Rc plus an integration constant k is equal to minus natural log of V minus Vc. Let's call this equation number 1. Now in order to find k we need initial conditions and initial conditions are given as vc of 0 minus equal to 0. So we put t equal to 0 then the left side would be k is equal to minus natural log of v minus vc of 0 we know is 0 that is the capacitor is not holding any charge and thus k is equal to minus natural log of v. So putting this value of k back in equation number 1 we get t over rc minus natural log of v is equal to minus natural log of v minus vc. So taking natural log on the other side we can write t over rc is equal to natural log of v minus natural log of V minus Vc and here we use the property of logarithms that ln of A minus ln of B can be written as ln of A over B. So this can be written as ln of V over V minus Vc is equal to T over RC and now let's take the exponential of both sides exp of this so these two cancel and we are left with v over v minus vc is equal to e to the power t over rc now if i invert both equations i can write v minus vc over v is equal to e to the minus t over rc and from here we get v minus vc 
is equal to v times e to the minus t over rc and then vc can be written as v times 1 minus e to the minus t over rc. rc is called the time constant tau thus we can write this equation as v times 1 minus e to the minus t over tau. So let's plot this signal. So vc is given as v times 1 minus e to the minus t over tau and we know that our input v the input v of t was a step input so at t equal to 0 it was a step input like this so if i want to plot the step response i can take some values of t so at at t equal to 0 this term becomes equal to 1 so 1 minus 1 is then 0 so the starting point of my curve is 0 and then let t go to infinity so e to the minus infinity is 0 and thus at infinity v of infinity is equal to v and v of 0 is equal to 0 and the curve we know is exponential so step response would be like this where in steady state conditions the voltage across the capacitor would approach the supply voltage v so this is the calculation of the step response of an rc circuit in the time domain we will also look in the future how we can solve this circuit in the frequency domain. So that's all for today and see you in the next lecture.